Alright, so in this video, we're gonna be covering Nick. Okay guys, you see what we have here. Judging off what we see right here, right now, where are we starting? Are we gonna start with the fade? Are we gonna start balding out? The mustache? The eyebrows? The top? How about that? We start with the top. So, I'm gonna go ahead and wet the hair. Let's go ahead and wet the hair a little bit, okay? Nick, are you with me? Stay with me, Nick. Look, so we're gonna wet the hair. Drench it. It's gotta be wet. But also, while we do all that, I'm not in the mood for Wale right now, but let's go ahead and go with uh, Waka Flocka Flame. Put the phone down, Fonz. Let's focus. Grab the shears. Let's go. Sections. Now, before we get into these sections, I must admit this other thing that there's a lot of admitting that I got to do on this video guys this is like a confessional so I'm about to get into these sections right and I have my shears and I have my comb I don't use both of these anymore not saying that they suck they just have a place so the 245 shears I have a whole bunch of them here where I am now currently I'm not in the shop I'm in the office and in the office I have a little mannequin and this mannequin you know this just this is just a practice Renzo has a lot of them but I have a few in the office and I'm just gonna use the 245 shears here for that now that comb that you see that white comb it is absolutely not the comb to be doing this type of cut with. I, I do not like the Stan Via comb. It's uh, it's too big. Uh, I don't know, maybe my hands are too small, but it's just not the right comb to use. And I don't know why in the world I chose to use the Stan Via comb for this service. No business using it, so don't use it. If you see me using it, doesn't mean you need to use it. Don't do it. All right, Rakata, mira eso, check this out. Now I'm meeting where I created that first section with the rest of the head horizontally, but I'm going in two separate sections. I'm doing the right side first, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cover the left side. So as you see, I started from the back by the crown, and I'm moving forward just how I did it on the vertical section, but now I'm using a horizontal section, and I'm using the horizontal section to meet into what I created on the vertical section and as we move forward we leave more hair look I'm doing it I'm doing it guys we're growing we are going and using systems now huh we're not just we're just we're not, we're not just shooting away and cutting away we are being a little bit more organized with Nick here I hope you I hope you could appreciate this I've been I've been trying okay I've been trying and and not only am I happy but Nick is happy look that's all that matters at the end is as long as your client is happy guys who gives a damn what everybody on the internet thinks? I'm not saying you guys don't matter. I'm just saying that some of us might overthink things and base it off of what we see on the internet instead of what Nick thinks. Think about Nick, guys. I want you to think more about what Nick thinks than what all of us think when we watch somebody on the internet. Think about Nick and not about us. And by us, I mean you and you, I mean the internet. Okay, so after covering the top, guys, I don't know if you noticed, but this big old comb that I'm trying to deal with is giving me a hard time trying to do box graduation. So I get a little bit confused and you know, it's just not adding enough tension, guys. And that's why you can't just go for any old comb. But whatever, I'm just going ahead. I'm not giving up, I guess. I'm just being hard headed with the tools that I'm using, but it's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and box graduation it out all the way through all the way around and you know something that I kept in mind when I created that box graduation is that I don't want to have I don't want to cut that hair so short that it sprouts out okay so keep that in mind so as you can see I have the freaking ergos in my hand guys and these ergos hit right I still have them I don't have that blade on them that's the uh the taper babbler's blade I tried it I was you know this is when when AJ just got to the shop I got the ergos and I was I was messing around with the ergos trying to figure out what I liked but at the end it's not the way to go so I went ahead and tried a different system it didn't work but whatever i'm got i have the shavers in my hand guys we got to move on we can't be stuck in the past let's move on with these freaking shavers and figure out what we're gonna do for good old nick okay so after we get the shavers we're gonna go ahead and grab some product i went ahead with the 245 clay now that clay guy let me tell you about that clay that clay is serious it's real clay it's thick and it's you just need a little bit right and i and i chose to apply it to the hair while it was still a little bit damp and i went ahead and grabbed the diffuser right after so i could you know add a little bit of volume you know it's a good tool to have when you use a blow dryer you know real intense heat blowing at the hair might frizz it up too much or might not give it the look you want and i want to give nick good old nick right a nice textured look so that's why i did that that way now afterwards 
Stay with me, Nick. Afterwards, I grab the number five guard and I take it all the way to the ridge or actually right beneath the ridge to where I did the box graduation, right? And I'm meeting it right there, kind of trying to continue that foundation of where I created that box graduation, right? And so, you know, it's my way of kind of cheat coding it. I don't really, I know for a fact, guys, that I, there could be a better way to do this, right? But I'm still working on that sheer work and I'm still working on how to do this low fade because I don't like this low fade, right? And I'm creating this section with the blade all the way open. And this is the taper blade, guys. I don't know if you noticed earlier I said it. Now, it's, um, I don't know, man. I, I'm not gonna say I don't know. I do know. The, 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 the thing to know is, the thing to know is that, um, you know, I feel, guys, and excuse my look, this is editing fonts. And editing fonts is here just trying to get this work done because it's been quite a while since we've seen each other, right? And so, due to the fact that there was a, I mean, there was a few things that happened here, guys. Look, first thing is the blade, right? So, you see that gold blade that's on the Ergos? That's not an Ergo blade, that's a Babyliss blade. And uh, around that time, because this was like six months ago, I was, you know, trying to experiment with how many different blades I could use on the Ergos, and that's what I chose. I have a feeling that that blade doesn't cut that well on that clipper like a blade made by that clipper company cuts on that clipper. Uh, that's one. Secondly, I just, I really noticed how difficult it is to give Nick a low fade due to the fact on how the struggles, the challenges that came with you know, a few different areas on his head shape. But that's neither here or there, guys. We're gonna go ahead and just see how this looks at the end. Okay, so right here, guys, I have already debulked, chopped from the top, and faded down. And we're gonna go ahead and finish off this half section, right? So as you can see, I've already chopped from the top, although I am gonna go back and cut a little bit more from the fringe, and you might notice something a little bit different. I'm using the FX3s, right? Well, not right now, I'm using the trimmers with the 245 pink adapter, you know, shout-outs to 245 on that one, but let's bring back the FX3s. So the FX3s, I did get at CT. I'm not gonna go too much over them uh, on this video, but I did use them a lot in the last couple of weeks, and we'll talk about it soon. But I do finish the fade with the FX3s. There's been times that I go back and use the gammas. Oh, I forgot to also mention, I did get a new pair of shears and texturizing shears over there at CT as well. And uh, hey, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm not using the same comb on this segment like I did on the previous one. So, you know, Nick is getting a whole different type of haircut right here. <music> So continues guys Nick sorry buddy I had to do it man I had to bring that fade up I wanted to know I wanted to know and share with everybody Nick what it looks like when you bring the fade up on your head at this point I'm still cleaning up I'm connecting what I did on both sides of Nick's head and connecting it on the back now in most cases when it comes to the back of the fade or the back of the head when you're fading it you tend to have to kind of bring the fade up a little bit higher because it's so much there's so much more density around that area and when it comes to that make sure you step back a little bit guys it's uh it's it's a little bit tricky when you're always in the same spot cutting hair and then your client will stand up walk away and you start looking at it like this looks different so don't do that step back sometimes look at what you're working on it'll you know it'll help not have to have those moments where you tell your client hold up come back sit down let me uh let me fix that real quick. Now, outside of that, I added some texturizing powder and some clay to his head. And um, at this point, you know, I, when I laid the hair down a little bit, I'll, and I will say this, Nick, it would be cool to do a crop top on you and, you know, laid the hair forward. How many of y'all think Nick should try it? I don't want to put no pressure on Nick. This ain't about putting pressure on Nick. So let's not put pressure on Nick. But it would be cool if Nick tried a crop top to lay the hair down forward at least 
and kind of, you know, add a little bit of a different look. Nick tends to stay with the same look, and there's nothing wrong with that, Nick. There's nothing wrong with that. But it would be cool to try it out, Nick. You let me know. If you see this video, Nick, let me know what you think. But he does like to bring it up in the front. So what I wanted to do was kind of cut that fringe area just a little bit shorter because it felt like it was too long and I didn't want to give him just like a, a you know, I didn't want to leave it so long that it looked like a ramp. So I don't know if you can notice this, boys and girls, but Nick's beard game is stronger here. He let it grow a little bit lower, which I think is a better look than what we did on the previous cut. But um, overall, it looks solid. Whether it's a thick beard or not, it's still solid. We're finishing off on the beard and from the beard we go to the eyebrows. You have to be very careful when you're lining eyebrows up and when you're lining the mustache up. Go ahead and be gentle with it. Small strokes do the job, remember that. And after that, you know, you just clean up around the C cup, okay? And nothing crazy. I don't want nothing too defined for Nick. But, you know, guys, oh, it's been a long journey here. And some haircuts are easier than others. Don't forget that. Don't be down on yourself if you have those haircuts. If you don't, you know, kill every single haircut. And any barber that tells you that that's their case um, for every single day of their career, I don't know what to say to that. All right, so let's go over it real quick, guys. Let's let's do a quick review. So on the first outcome of Nick's service, you know, this is how it looks, right? It's, it's a lower fade, a little bit choppy in certain areas due to the things that I pointed out. But overall, when you look at it, I feel like the second outcome makes Nick's face look slimmer. But overall, I think that the second outcome it's the best outcome for Nick. Let me know in the comments below what y'all think. I think this is what suits him best. Although I do want to try that crop top, Nick. Let me know, because we will put that to work real quick.